first year of inception, you know, there were a few friends like John Singh, Faith Singh, and we were sitting around. And at that point, we were doing a much larger festival called the Jaipur Virasat Festival. And we all decided that it needed a literary component. And at that point, as always, when you organize these things, we were short of funds and things like that. So someone said, look, we don't have a venue. So we volunteered with our venue. And that's how it went on for its first three years of inception. And then when it started getting big, then Sanjoy and Teamworks and their team came on. And the rest of the journey is in front of all of you. Jaipur is still steeped in traditions and customs, and yet it has a very cosmopolitan flavor also. I think people are looking to see a bit of the past and to have it mingle very well with the modern and the future. So I think JLF just exemplifies and typifies this particular aspect and concept of what people have in their minds. I remember the first one, there were 17 speakers. There were about 15 people wanting to listen to them. That's how we began. And we sit here today for the ninth edition. I don't know what the numbers are, but last year the numbers were, I think, 280,000 people, out of which 80,000 were unique visitors. I hope everyone knows that we do it completely for free. There is no business angle to it. It is something that we do for our future generations. And I believe the business side of it is the same as far as Teamworks and all are concerned. All the authors and speakers who travel all this way to be here from the globe come for free. To me, Diggy Palace, though we run it as a heritage property through the year, it's a hotel with 72 rooms. To me, it is still first my home and then a hotel. I think that feeling pervades all over the property, that it is first a home with a warmth, with a heart, with a face and a family. I believe all those PILs were based on people wanting to create mischief. The government works with us, you know, we get the heritage venues to go and uh, do our performances in. The music is held at Clark's. There is not a single traffic problem. Everything's working smoothly. Every venue is full of people. It is not a decision that I or the court can take. It is a decision that has to be taken by all the people who participate. The JLF is a wonderful idea. It crosses boundaries, it's national, it's international, it's regional. And I don't think any negative force would be able to squash a good intent on the part of all of us.